Hey everyone, hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens, I'm in Seoul, South Korea. And it's the middle of the day right now, but tonight for dinner, we have an opportunity to go to a restaurant called Born and Bread that serves the top quality Korean Hanwoo beef. I've never had it before. This is going to be my first time. Um, and it's going to be a, just a gourmet, elegant, extreme, life-changing beef meal. Uh, but before tonight for dinner, um, it's the middle of the day right now. We're at the Majang Meat Market. I'm going to walk around. We're going to see some of the beef, some of the Hanwoo. And then later tonight, like a once-in-a-lifetime meal, beef meal, coming up. As soon as you arrive to the Majang Meat Market, you can just, even as you're walking up, you can smell the aroma of raw meat, a lot of beef, a lot of pork. Uh, but then when you're in the market, it is, it is very clean. It is very organized with many, many stalls, many butchers, many distributors. If you go into some of the alleys, there's even more stores. I read that there's over 3,000 meat stores at this market. 3,000! So to my understanding, Hanwu are a breed of cows, cattle, that are native to Korea. So they are Korean cows. But here's the thing though, a lot of shops, a lot of places claim that they serve Hanwu, Korean Hanwu beef. But that's not always the case. So Born and Bread is known to serve some of the best source, some of the best Korean Hanwu beef. Uh, distribute it, and they're the main distributor supplier for some of the shops in the market, but then also the top restaurants that serve Hanwu beef throughout Korea. They really are the kings of Korean beef. Oh, it says it's water aging. That is awesome, an aquarium of meat. It took us a little bit walking around to find it. Uh, but this is born and bred, this is the butcher, this is where it all began. This is where they started butchering, started distributing the best of the best quality of Korean Hanwoo beef. I believe they first had the restaurant on the upstairs floor, uh, but now the restaurant has the main restaurant just opened, which is just down the road, maybe like a 10 minute walk or so. Just kind of stepped inside here. There's a half a side of a Hanwu over there and then just yeah very clean this is the spot where the best Korean beef comes through a little bit of a traffic jam here oh look at that meat walking around the Majang meat market was great and just the abundance the quantity of meat and there's a lot of good restaurants as well especially Korean barbecue because it's close to the meat market but I'm gonna resist the temptation because later tonight in a few hours from now is gonna be the ultimate Korean Hanwoo beef meal experience. So I'm gonna see you in a couple of hours. The restaurant is actually a few blocks away from the meat market. Uh, so we just got off the subway at Majang Station and actually it's just a, just a very like maybe a hundred meters from the, the subway station, Majang Station. We should be coming up on it very soon. This is just a beef area though. Like there's so many Korean barbecue restaurants in this entire area of Seoul. The restaurant occupies the corner of well, not really the corner, but yeah, kind of the corner. It looks like a designer clothing boutique. It looks like a Louis Vuitton store. Wow, that's huge. Oh, that's born and bred. You definitely would think it is a, a very high-end clothing boutique, but this is a, a beef restaurant. Thank you, hello. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mark. I'm uh, with Sangwon. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice to meet you. Of Born and bread. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we were with uh, Kevin. Kevin. With Kevin. Yes. So we met up with Sang, who is the owner of Born and Bread. And what's amazing is that. Um, this is the building that you were born in, this is the building that yes. you grew up in, yes. and now it's converted into a very amazing, like, meat hanwu Korean beef palace. Thank Beautiful you. place. And that's why it's called Born and Bread. Yeah. Ah, so that's the story behind the name. Yes. Very cool, very cool. And then he's, he's designed it so there's the butchery and kind of a more laid back shop in the bottom. And then there's some other floors, yes. and then we'll be dining downstairs, which is yes. 
What is the, the Korean name for omakase? Makim Charim. Makim Charim. Makim Charim. Yes. Which is like an omakase, like yeah, yeah. piece by piece, chef yeah. Our look, chosen yeah, 15, bite by bite. 15 pieces today. 15 yeah, 500 pieces. 500 grams for each. Okay. Yes, oh, this, this is awesome. Really 500 <laughs> grams reverse and yes. half a kilo each yes. of premium, okay. the best. Yes, yes. Han Woo. Yes, yes. Very cool, very cool. Thank you. Is it okay if we see the, the butchery? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Thank you yeah, very much. That's where we buy. Female cow, only like 20, 28 months. So right? everything is Hanwoo? Yes, everything, everything is, is Hanwoo, right? Everything. Everything is Hanwoo and okay. everything is female cow. Female cows. Yes. Yeah, that could be one of the greatest cabinets of meat in the world. Everything is Hanwoo beef. Thailand. Thailand. What part of the meat is this? This is a ribeye. <laughs> wow. It's our Beautiful. That's amazing. Thank you. You're welcome. What a meat palace. This is the marbling, the cuts, the beauty, just that ratio. Oh, wow. It's just so incredibly classy, this entire restaurant. And this is the bottom floor. Um, they have like other cuts of meat, but he said you can also order a hamburger here. You can have a drink. Ying. I know what I want next for my birthday. Well, that would be the greatest gift ever. A meat gift. I think most of our group, oh, where's, oh, Rickman isn't here yet though. He's, he must be coming. Anyways, most of our group just arrived. Uh, we're going downstairs. Oh, this is the speakeasy, cool. Down to the basement, down to the speakeasy, and we have the entire room. Wow. This is the seat. Oh, perfect. What a, what a gorgeous restaurant and just, yeah, what a, what a beef restaurant. This is Chateaubriand from 28 months, Korean female cow. First course is Chateaubriand and he just brought it on this, like, stone. Yeah. most amazing cuts of Hanwu um, and he's put that onto the charcoal grill and then sprinkled very artfully some salt and pepper. This is not good. <laughs> You've been uh, a butcher and also cooking beef for your whole life? Yeah, but not whole life, maybe, when I was just something. <laughs> at, what, at what youngness can you start cooking beef? When I was really young, I eat, I just eat. Okay. <laughs> maybe 18, from 18, I cook for my friends. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. And then I started to work with my father, maybe 26. Okay, but then your father was, was yeah, dealing yeah. beef all his, yeah, even, for your whole even, life? Yeah, beef I own. Okay. Yeah, he started work. Okay, so you've been surrounded by beef all of your life. The trip, of course, is organized by Jeff. He initiated this, sent me the link, and then Thank sent you. me the phone spent last Jeff five months to get the table. All the backing and all the email. Thank you. Uh, Thank them. Yeah. Couldn't yes. have happened without yeah. Sammy and Feng. Cheers, cheers. 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 An amazing group of friends and food lovers. And food is always better with good friends, for sure. I'd like to say, <laughs> what we have here is a group with good friends, good food, good wine, two out of three, guaranteed. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Just before the beef, lettuce looks like a bit of cheese on there with a the dressing as well. Oh, the cheese is so light. Sirloin? It's all the same cow. The same cow. The same cow. This one, ribeye. We just brought out the, the sirloin and the ribeye. Beautiful chunks, chunks of Han Wu. And then he's, he said everything, actually, everything that we're eating is going to be from the same cow this evening.
we'll go first. <laughs> this is a thing of beauty. Hanwu. God bless you. Mm. I will dream about this for the rest of my life. How was it, Yun? Oh. <laughs> oh. The Hanwu, the Chateau Birian. It's possibly a clean soap. Perfectly cooked, too. Oh, wow. <laughs> what is that? Oh, wow. I don't even know what just happened <laughs> with that bite. That is so soft and juicy and like, but without all the fat. Yeah, it's so not ragged. that, not that fatty, fatty, but no, it's not bad. You like it? No. The flavor is unbelievable. unbelievable. And like that, yeah, that, but the fat that is there, just it coming out with the grill and with that fried, like, on the grill. Wow. Yeah. Usually, it's like almost too close. Like, I don't even want salt with this. It's so good. It doesn't need salt. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. We did salt it as it was grilling. The juiciness is just out of control. The marbling tray. Yes, five year old Hanwu mm. two plus. With cows, the salt. The same thing. Oh, that, yeah, that's truffle salt. You taste the truffle in there a little bit. Okay, this one is the ribeye. Oh man, you can just see the strands of fat in it. Put a little bit of wasabi on it. He said this is a one butter. That one is like just fatty, almost gooey texture. And the fat just bursts with flavor. This one? Amazing. <laughs> okay, next one. Yeah, the next one is a different piece of the ribeye, part of the ribeye with some, is that mustard on top? This is also ribeye? It's a ribeye, a part of ribeye. A ribeye. Oh, the rib. Little, little part. Little part of And the, the other one was? The... Yeah, wow. That's well, a piece you want to close your eyes for. Yeah. As you bite and savor the, the juicy fattiness. Yeah, that's insane. Do you still love beef? Beef? Or do you get tired of it? Oh, kind of tired. Tired of beef. <laughs> love. Uh, sirloin. Next up is the sirloin. Amazing. You can actually see the streaks of fat in it. Like, <clears throat> strands. Mm. Oh, the different textures. That one is like, it's almost like jelly-ish on the inside. It's almost like a... Almost like a brisket bark. Served with some of the kimchi, but the non non chili kimchi. It's really good. Yes. Uh oh. Look at the strands of fat and the layers and that skin. The skirt steak. You taste the beefiness is pouring out of it. Mm. And you said you can also wrap it in a, a little piece of the skirt steak in a leaf. It's like a pickle. I can't remember what type of leaf it is. Mm. Right? All oh, that. That works. What is that? <laughs> that like brings out the flavor actually and like makes it burst with that beef in the center. It kind of like. Mm. It's like kind of pickled, like sweet, a little bit sweet and sour. <coughs> oh, sorry. It's okay. Oh, that's the combination with those leaves. Side of tenderloin. Side of tenderloin. Side of tenderloin. He said this is a one bite topped with some chives, I think. No pizza, come on. <laughs> Slightly jelly on the inside, but that one's meaty too. Mm. No, it's superb. 
top plate, maybe this part, plate. we marinate like kalbi. Like, I, see, I see like you guys are all foodies. Wow, okay. look at the juiciness of them. Sando incoming from behind. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, oh wow. Sandwich, Hanwu sandwich coming in. But I'm gonna take a bite of the top plate first, which is what you just finished grilling. Oh, my God. oh, the top plate is soft. It does kind of have like a tongue texture to it. He just brought it, it just appeared. And it is a Chateau Biryan, which is definitely deep fried with a little bit of sauce between, sandwiched between two small, perfect, pillowy, slightly crispy slices of bread, grilled slices of bread. Oh, oh wow. It's just perfect, like the meat just squeezes and the bread just like cradles it. You see the squash like just like coming out and it's just, it's just a harmony of everything. Han Wu, just like the top of Han Wu. Oh wow, that's stunning. That was a really good cool, the harmony of Han Wu. <laughs> harmony of Han Wu. That's almost be the name of the video. <laughs> and oh, months, oh. months of chasing this reservation. Mm. <laughs> Thank you, boy, While nobody's here, it was a nightmare. To get oh, yeah. this thing, a thing. nightmare. Really to get this right away. He is grilling the kaibi, which is the short rib, the marinated version, and just you just unravel it, unroll it onto the grill. No so, marinade. So we. Brought more, which you guys eat. Oh, <laughs> really, really rare. Do we have that? Okay. Next course is the kaibi, and he's just, there's like, he has a collection of different kaibis, short ribs going on the grills of various marinades. When you think about Korean barbecue, this is the cut that you think about, the prized chunk of meat. He served us an entire tray of little banchans. There's rice, because you want to be eating rice when you eat short rib, plus a variety of beautiful, beautiful vegetables as well, leafy vegetables. The chef said, take a piece of the of the ribs in first piece eat with rice. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, that is next level. Oh, that's the most tender, most succulent, most perfect short ribs. Probably in the world, but well, yes. that's extraordinary in the world. In the world, oh wow, the flavor! You want? Um, that's a good one. I think that's oh. fish roe. Fish roe. I'll do a bit of fish roe and a bit of the sauce. And the sauce. And a bit of the sauce. Okay. Did you get rice in it too? Yeah, a little rice. Uh, a rice roll. Oh. Just roll it or just like stuff a little, it. A little green it or Mexican just stuff taco. It. Okay, here we go. God save us. Cheers. Cheers, brother. <laughs> Always good to eat with you. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> what is that? Is that oh, legal? Wow. Is that legal? <laughs> and it sneakily snuck some more onto my rice. Mm. I will never say no. Oh, thank you, Chef. Look at that. It's still going. Yeah, I know. After liquefying on the bone. Holy crap. Wow. Let's, let's bone cheers. From nowhere. <laughs> it's, it's relentless. Oh, oh, the bone, that's hot. <laughs> bone cheers. Mm. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> mm. Are you kidding me? Oh, mine is almost, almost too hot to consume this fast off the grill, but that mm. is... 
that melts in your mouth. I just want this tray to never end, to be everlasting. And while we were eating that last bite, he brought over a little bowl of the bokogi. This is the hanmu, hanmu bokogi. Oh wow. Absolutely stunning. The thin slices of meat, the sweet, salty, that's just flavor beyond imagination. And then this is a Hanwu bone broth. Can you, you can see that milky whiteness of it. Born and bred in the market or not anymore? Uh, but we are oh. Right oh, that is milky. Oh, that's incredible. Try some of this next. Oh, what is that? I'm not totally sure. It's kind of like slightly fishy. I go in for another roll up. The roll up is the bottom. The roll up is just, yeah. <laughs> right? Yeah, no, this is like. Look. Very impressive with your bulldog. The vegetable roll, the, the leaves, everything. It's just one of the greatest joys of Korean food with the best beef. <laughs> just dished us out some of the inside skirt. It's very beautiful meat. And you can just see the juices kind of just flowing out of it. I think I'm gonna half bite this. It's just like cut after cut. Oh, that one is more lean, but still juicy and there's like strings apart. Well, that was good. This is just a, a culinary Hanwu Korean beef, like, theatrical experience. They are now opening up the doors and actually this is like a, it goes 360 degrees, a donut bar counter. So there's another side and they're gonna do a butchery beef demonstration right here. <laughs> highest, the highest levels of Korean beef. We're so hungry. Absolutely unbelievable. We wheeled out half a cow. <laughs> I'm just gonna giggle. Very, very good. I like it. This was the greatest idea ever, too. Like, wheel out a half a cow. got half a cow in the dining room with us, hanging out. <laughs> and he has sliced off a chunk from the inside. Um, and we're gonna have beef sashimi right out of the carcass. A very, very fresh cow. So this is the sashimi of Hanwu beef sashimi right out of the cow. And um, he said you dip it, give it a good, good dip in the sesame oil. Maybe a submerge. Oh, that's beautiful. Wow. Look at that texture, the coolness of it. The flavor is so neutral, and then just with that, like, complimenting sesame oil, that's... Wow. Some of the Han Wu Pho, with the broth, with the noodles. How big is the... How big is it? The lemoniness, the, the green onions, and the coriander in here. The broth is outstanding. <laughs> oh, and there's some tendon in here, too. Oh. <laughs> I'm gonna add a little... A little sriracha. Alright, grab some noodles, grab the ribeye, and eat it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Korean instant noodles <laughs> with, uh, it's ribeye? Ribeye, yeah. Ribeye, you gotta eat noodles with the beef. Yeah. 
These are incredible. Even the noodles have like a, a chewiness to them. And that's like as comforting as Han Wu can get. <laughs> it looks like we're helping this. Ignore it. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's really good. That's really smooth, really, really cool and fresh. Thank you. That was a significant amount of beef um, that he served us and time for dessert. This will be my first non-beef bite in the last like three hours. They're weak, they can't eat so much. Mm. <laughs> oh, that melon is incredible. So good, thank you. That's almost as juicy as the beef. Final bite of dinner. I'm just gonna let the juices flow. Oh. That was a phenomenal, unbelievable meal. One of the best meals I can think of that I've had in my life. And it wasn't like a little amount. It was, that was a huge meal. We are leaving stuffed, very happy with a completely new beef culinary Han Wu experience and great to hang out. I want to say a huge thank you to Sandy and Kevin for making the booking, for arranging that. Um, and it was a very hard process to get that booking. And then great to hang out with Jeffrey and Rickmond and Gladys and everybody else there. That is not a cheap meal. It cost right at about $300 per person. Um, and then we had the entire room, the entire speakeasy section of the restaurant. And I'll say a big thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now and also click the little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks for watching. Good night from Seoul. I'm gonna go straight to bed after that meal and I'll see you on the next video.